Well, Johan, it's it's real now. You're here, just uh, 20, less than 24 hours before the game. I guess it's really starting to get exciting. Yeah, look, it's uh, I mean, this is the reason why we all play rugby. You know, it's uh, it's a great stadium. It's a tough place to come. Um, you know, hopefully the wheel holds out. But uh, like I said, you know, this is why we play this wonderful game. You know, for big games like this, and uh, and tomorrow is going to be one of those big ones. You know, it's going to go down in history as uh, as one of the big ones. And it doesn't matter what happens, we want to lose. It'll always be remembered as a big one. And you've had a good week of, of preparation. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, it's been a really good week. You know, I think we've been fortunate in the last two weeks from an injury point of view. Um, you know, there hasn't been any major injuries, a couple of bumps and bruises, but uh, uh, it's great to have a fully fit squad almost again. You know, and. Uh, uh, and the boys is, is, is really excited and I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. What will you say to the, the team before this game? When you stand up and make that captain's speech, what words are you going to use to inspire them? Uh, I don't know, I normally just talk whatever comes up. Uh, but now, look, I think it's uh, like just what I said earlier. You know, uh, uh, everybody wants to be part of something like this, you know, a big game away from home, everything to play for, playing for home quarter final and, and the Heineken Cup. And uh, and like I said, you know, if, if you don't get up, you know, from a from a mental point of view for games like this, then you shouldn't play this game. You know, uh, this is this is what every schoolboy dreams of. You know, big games like this uh, in front of a tough crowd, in front of a tough stadium, um, and, and and that's memories that you're going to remember for the rest of your life and, and your career. Every team has incentives, especially if they have a chance of a home quarter final, but with what's going on, the building work at Ravenhill, you perhaps have a bigger incentive really than any other team that's aimed for that home that home playoff. Yeah, look, I think, you know, if you, if you if you speak to every single one of the eight teams that's going to make it, you know, that's where they want to play. You know, nobody wants to go play away in, in a quarter final. You want to play in front of your home stands and in front of your home fans. And uh, and obviously, you know, with Ravenhill and the building that's going on there and, and, and the promise that it will be finished, you know, by uh, by the time of the quarterfinals is, uh, is something that, that really excites us as players. And, and, and I'm sure you know that the whole of Northern Ireland and Belfast is, uh, is right behind the team because, you know, that's where they want to support the boys as well.